Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can calculate cumulative sum in Power BI. So cumulative sum is one of the very common requirement for various types of charts or tables and in this video I want to show you the expression that exactly you need to use for the calculation of cumulative. Before that a quick information if you have landed very first time on my channel then this video or oh sorry this Power BI sheet which is a google sheet i am using this link uh, i'm keeping this link within the description so that you can access this power bi where i'm keeping all of my power bi related videos whole idea is that uh, you can search uh, any of the previously posted video and you have the link in the column b so you can easily search any of my previous videos dashboard exercises that i have put and access it without having any hassle also, um, I have an ad, uh, I have a tab for the exercise where I'm keeping Power BI exercises related videos as well. Okay, with that information, let me go to the Power BI. All right, so here I am in the Power BI and I'm using the sample Superstore data set, which is the super, the sales of the Superstore where you have the values like order ID, order date, when the sales have been made and stuff like that. And if you see over here, we have this year, the month, uh, the sales, what sales have happened, and then the cumulative sales, which is 14,236 here. Then in the next month, you have 4520. So now it becomes 14,000 plus 4520 becomes 18,756. 18,756 plus 55691 uh, becomes 7448, so on and so forth, all the way down to the 22,097,258. So how you can do, how you can create this calculation, which is cumulative sales is something which I will show you. Now coming to the measure in this main table, the only thing is I want to make sure that um, it, it is not creating over here. Let me put cross, let me just select the table where I need to create it. So I have created on sales. Now I will create it on the profit just for this scenario. So we will say it cumulative profit, right? And then what we need is basically to start with the calculate function where we will take the sum of profit, equals to profit, right? And then within the filter, we need to filter some values and we win we need to filter it from the superstore right so filter from superstore and then what we need is basically the order date so we have the order date so this order date need to be smaller than or equals to max of order date so over here superstore order date okay that's all what we need to calculate the uh, the cumulative profit earlier we calculated cumulative sum so what it is doing is it is taking the sum of profit but also making sure that uh, while it is doing that your current date is less than or equals to the max order date that way it basically rolls up the entire value and keep on adding the value to your each of these months so if i click ok and this is my cumulative profit. So if I select this table and come first to add the profit, right? Sum of profit. And then we have the cumulative profit over here, right? So starting with 3760, then 4023. So if I just drag it down a little bit and uh, click on the cumulative profit, so if you see this is the sum of profit 3760 which is this but as soon as you move on to the next row which is the fab right then basically what it is saying is superstore order date is less than equals to the max date so for the second row the basically the max date is this so so this value should be either equals to this and this so that's why it is basically adding that then third row should be equal to this or these two order date right and order date is where we are driving the year and month so that's basically in a recursion what is happening in the front end where the you are getting the cumulative sum as per your needs 
So that's mainly I wanted to show you how you can do that and I'll meet you in the next video with the new topic.